We just came to let the kids see the big ships that come through. We saw one big one come in yesterday, and they said, do you think that's big? A bigger one's coming tomorrow. I can see the ship right by those trees. I When the ships come up the river, it seems like you can just reach out and touch them. I'm taking pictures of uh, video of my kids and some of the other ones, so they're going to be pretty amazed to see this. Good to be part of Savannah's history. So the day started for me at 3.15 this morning. Got up, went down to Savannah, picked up our chairman, and we rode out to the vessel. That's one of the great things that no other port can offer. There's nowhere else you could take a 16,000 TU right past the waterfront. I felt like I always wanted to be in a parade and wave, and everybody was waving back. But they were way down there, and we were way up there, so it was really neat. It's great to see the city come out in force. Not only local folks, because I know they were there, my, our neighbors called and said, what time is that ship coming down? But you also have all those tourists that come and see Savannah and see something so unique that you can't ever touch and see anywhere else. It's great. It's great. The Port of Savannah is, is a very, very special port for us for many reasons. Many of us have had the opportunity to work together for many years, and uh, there's a lot of trust. When you take that factor of working together and the trust, and you put it together of how this port has executed the CMA CGM over the years, they've done an incredible job. This is not an overnight success. The Georgia port has been building for this for 20 years. Ship, the mega rail, first one, all of these projects now are lining up to meet the demand of vessels like this. So as they say, luck is when preparation meets opportunity. You know, the port's done a great job with A.N. on top of capital projects here on the port and keeping the cranes ahead of when we need them. It seems like they always show up the week before you have to have them. The roads always open up the week before you, you just have to have them. It's a great place to be a developer and just play off of the success of the port here. We invested and decided to invest in the southeast in Savannah, Georgia about two and a half years ago. We run about 800,000 square feet of warehousing and about 40 drainage trucks coming in and out of the ports. Savannah and the Port of Savannah, Georgia Ports Authority have been absolutely great partners for us. Not only attracting our customers to come in and move from the west coast to some of the other ports across the country, but helping us get established in the community as well. So it's been great the last two and a half years. We intend to invest more in Savannah in the marketplace in Georgia and continue to grow our footprint here. To Griff Lynch, Ed McCarthy, and all of the GPA employees who allow the ILA to come in here and just do what we do. I want to thank everyone for just allowing us to be a part of this. And Mr. President, I guarantee if you bring your ship here, we'll do our level best to put it on the high seas. When you come to this terminal, you, you see that there's a very close relationship between labor and management. I had a good discussion with them this morning. We, they were very proud of the fact that the ship was going to come in on this time and the ship will be out on that time. So it seemed to be a united effort to do the, the best job they can for our company. Once again, the fast that this off the ship gets out the gate to our customers. So we're excited about this port. Many customers are talking about it. We'll be where the customers ask us to be. And as a team, we're going to accomplish some great things.